What up, it's your boy NWP, and if you haven't heard, have you heard about the word? But no, seriously, have you heard the word? Today is 2X Black Market Tears. Think about that. 2X Black Market Tears. Now, we haven't seen anything like this. But before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted anytime I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, dropping some giveaways. Check the links in the description. Every 1,000 subscribers, we're going to do 50 bucks, your favorite gaming currency. And so you can either get yourself some COD points or some V bucks. I won't judge you. It's up to you. But no, let's get like like right into the topic at hand. And it's 2X Black Market Tears. And I'm sure people are like, well, who cares about 2X Black Market Tears? It's not leveling me up to prestige. I'm trying to prestige. No, it's listen. Listen, okay? People have had to sink money into, into supply drops year after year for the, since Black Ops 2, basically. I mean, not Black Ops 2 for supply drops, but if you think about it, Black Ops 2 was when they first added a downloadable weapons. Okay, that was the first one time that we got a downloadable weapon. Then we got another one added in during uh, Ghosts, or was it maybe two in Ghosts? Technically three. We got that SMG that turned into an AR, and then we got the AR and the sniper rifle combo that was two different guns, but they're the Maverick. Um, the Maverick and the Ripper. I think we got something else there, too. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and then, you know, Advanced Warfare brought the, you know, just total, like, weapon variant and supply drops with different things. But ever, but we've had to pay for these things, okay? We've had to pay for all of this, the weird camos, all that stuff ever since release. Now, granted, there is going to be, you know, some pay-only stuff that's available, obviously, blah, 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 blah. But we're able to earn this stuff by playing now, which is a, a massive difference compared to like anything else going on. Now I will say just flat out leveling up in blackout is the worst crap ever. Ever. It's like leveling up in uh, some free to play, you know, like PUBG or H1Z1 type game and it, it, you paid 60 bucks for the game. So it's, that's that's just terrible. But in this new black market is technically the same thing, but it awards you for time played, and you can still buy the tiers. But right now, when they're giving you like double, you know, the tiers, um, why would you spend the money? They're like telling you not to spend the money, or maybe they're encouraging. I don't know. It's like, is this like you know reverse psychology? I'm not really sure. But as you guys can tell, I've been going for camos. I'm trying to unlock, uh, you know, dark matter as fast as possible so that I. Can can get the grandfather dark matter i mean it's uh, not as fast as possible because i'm not i don't play as much as i could but uh, excuse me you get what i'm saying it's more of a kind of like uh, how, do, how do i put that even like i'm doing as fast as i can or want to. I think I got screwed out of that camo I just got right there too. Because this game disconnects uh, because my Thresher randomly kills two people on my team. Yeah. I like I didn't send that to kill people. They were like face fucking the enemies and, and died. Like that's that's a fuck on you, man. If you face fuck the enemy and die, fuck you. Like, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, but no, no, no. Like now the the zombie things, I don't know exactly what the zombie uh, Nebulum does. It's also 2x. So I'm assuming it's probably like um, to buy the power ups, like in Black Ops 3. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm not a big zombies player. I never was, never had, and never will be. Uh, but um, I just, uh, I think this is pretty cool. I know you had to buy those uh, technically as well. I know you had to pay cash money for the uh, power ups, like the bubblegum machine. I think it was in Black Ops 3. So I'm gonna say that this whole thing, this whole weekend, is like a huge bonus to all the people that are playing, and it's like a nice way of them saying thank you for spending so much money on Call of Duty over the last, you know, 15 years. 
And we have. I mean, the reports are right now that Black Ops 4 is one of the like, highest-selling games uh, in the franchise. Maybe not the highest selling, but Half easily time. one of the highest selling, and probably the highest selling in the last few years. But the that's because we've been forced to play this space Security COD C. stuff, and uh, COD was I never a jumpy down. game like that. Like for, when, we, when I say jumpy, I mean yeah, the I scuff controllers, you know, jump, you know, using jumps to your Security advantage Bravo. that are normal jumps. Yeah, it's Who's always been a thing, but it's never been like you know the Halo jump, you know, the big weird jump game and I think that didn't really help the last four years as long in the money grabs like there was so many money grabs done in the last few years uh, in these games and I think that this is the first time we're seeing that uh, Activision Blizzard and uh, basically Treyarch hit the mark with a game completely that isn't just purely like okay we want as much money out of you as we possibly can get and that's cool. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of people bitching about this problem and that problem with, you know, whatever mode. The game's not even a full month old, you know, old at this point. It's been through one revision patch. Uh, some of these things you really do need to know uh, a large server, you know, like population to, to know if they're going to happen. And, you know, the beta was never really super popular, obviously. And, uh, you know, betas are just, while we think betas are popular, they really aren't in, in, in terms of like the amount of people that are on them compared to like the launch game and i don't know what the hell is going on with some of these time skips in here like i didn't cut or edit any of this somehow somebody just got killed by a my mantis like you, you had to have been like running at the dude like face fucking an enemy you get killed by that so here we like just don't what the fuck man uh, but this was actually a really good game. I think I think I got the camo. I don't know. I think I might have got screwed on it. But like these kids were just fucking dyers, like straight up feeders. I just kept calling in snipers' nests and threshers. Like I'm telling you, the snipers' nest. If you haven't seen my video, you need to go check that out. Check out the snipers' nest video about the most underrated score streak because that thing is seriously probably the best score streak for the helicopters. Um, it just gets more kills, in my opinion, less hit markers, which, you know, I guess that's like a debatable back and forth whether or not you want to get hit markers so it's like an assisted kill, you know, but that's that's up to you, I guess, for your own determination. Um, I was actually having a lot of fun with this John Wick gameplay here, running around, acting like a jackass. So, yeah, I don't know. You guys have a good one. That's pretty much the end of the video. Just blah, 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 babbling, ranting. You know what I mean? Got done with what I was getting done with like two, five minutes ago. But, uh, you know, I really need to watch time. So, uh, yeah, if you made it this far, you are a god. I love you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And as always, have a good one.